He's the man with the master plan. He's the master of disaster. Let's give a big round of applause to Mr. Delphio Marcellus. My daughter announced to me that she would no longer listen to music unless it had words. If there was no vocalist, she wouldn't even listen to it. I'm like, huh, thanks, Jasmine. So that rules out all of my music. Welcome to New Orleans, so I'm Delphio Marcellus, and I'm a trombonist, producer, educator, and I'm the founder of the Uptown Music Theater here in New Orleans. Since the hip-hop era, I guess that's about the last 20, 25 years, this is the longest span in the history of American music where there's never been an instrumental hit. I believe firmly that it's the disconnect of the popular music today from jazz and blues that really is the problem. In our efforts today to create something that's new or different, you know, we're really shortchanging the public. My name is John Michael Bradford, and I am a senior at the New Orleans Center for the Creative Arts, and I'm in the jazz department, level four. I feel like jazz can be connecting with the audience. That's how you make it popular. It's making them feel your love and your heart and your passion in it. So that even though they don't know what's going on, the chord changes, or you know, they don't know the theory behind it, they can still feel the sound and hear that your soul is in there. Jazz has given a lot to the city. The industry, the culture, the food, the music, the dance, everything. But the irony is there's very little patience for what we call straight ahead or classic jazz. So the, there's not a lot of scholarship across the board. And as that relates to the music, of course, jazz requires time. It's almost like anything of substance. You, know, you have to get to know someone. You have to get to know what something is. Yeah, I think the first time I met Delphio was I had junior like jazz orchestra, kind of like his big band, but for younger kids. So it was just all very educational as well as just me playing music. You know, I've always been a lover of Shakespeare and literature and Duke Ellington, Count Basie, jazz. And I wondered, what if I combined literature something that's way beyond what the kids already know. Shakespeare and Langston Hughes and combined it with some jazz or something that I like and put a little funky beat in there. And that's really, I guess, at the center of all of my musicals. It's something different. So we can combine vocabulary building with ear training with having a good time. And that's Uptown Music Theater. Mr. Delphio is a hardworking, dedicated young man who's looking out for the kids. He's an awesome, brilliant writer, passionate about his work. He's very passionate about his work, and he's passionate about the students as well. The Uptown Music Theater incorporates dance, acting, uh, drama, so the kids get uh, well-rounded, and it really helps the kids out in school because they manage their time better. Jayla attends the Alice Marcellus Center. She actually takes up dancing and piano as well as voice lesson at the Alice Marcellus Center. Being that my daughter has a disability, I was like, I don't know if she can keep up with these kids because the kids in the play was amazing. Marcellus gave Jayla the opportunity to be in this play. She's doing things that I didn't know that she was capable of. Rio, you turned out to be my people's people also come from Liberia. The so, tricky part about working with like kids you know. is the discipline of okay. knowing where you are, okay. knowing what you're doing, <laughs> knowing what choices that you are making. You know, and that, that look of, it's not accepted. <laughs> I, this always stuck with me. This, this kid yawned, and it was a small thing, and Delphi was just like, never do that. That's rude. And I was just like, wow, like, I always, that's always just stuck with me, just to have manners, people, like, be respectful, and just have a level of seriousness in a formal setting. The great thing that we never report about jazz is, is the family element. The fact that even if we don't know each other, when you join the band, you're joining the family, and we have to look after each other. That's the same philosophy that I use with the kids. Even though I'm tough on them, I'm really looking after them. Jazz teaches you so many things. It teaches you about diversity, harmony, rhythm. It teaches you the, the collective improvisation, so that's teamwork. The important thing to me is making sure that they know what it is and what the quality jazz is, and that they have an opportunity to experience it. And today, I think the kids are more interested in the answer than the process. And to me, that's what education really is, the process. And jazz teaches you about the process.